Hi everyone, welcome to my Facebook Live this week. My name's Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. It's great to have you all here today. Thank you for joining me, whether or not you are joining live and you'll know that you are, um, if you see the little live button, there it is there. <laughs> <laughs> the red live button up there. Um, if you're watching the replay, thank you so much as well. Um, and if you're watching on my YouTube channel later on, thank you so much for watching there as well. And feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you see. And if you click on the bell icon that you'll see down below, um, you'll get notified of all of my videos when I upload them. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. All right, so as you are jumping on today, say hi, let me know that you're here. Um, I'm just going to bring up this live on my iPad so that I can see all of um, your comments there. So let me just do that now. Okay, great, good. And I just realized I didn't take my jacket off the back of my seat and it is annoying me. So I'm just going to move that. There we go. So yes, it's a beautiful day today actually. It's uh, lovely outside in the sun, though it's a little bit windy. So when that breeze hits you, it's a little bit chilly, uh, but lovely in the sun. So we're sitting out there for a little while with um, our little puppy while she had a little run around. She's been wanting to be out there in the sunshine today. I think she's feeling a little bit cold. Um, and so, yeah, and so she wanted to be out there. So it was a good opportunity for me to just sit for a few minutes. So yeah. So let me know um, how your weekend was. I'd love to know what you've been up to. Um, uh, we had Father's Day here in Australia on Sunday. So um, I hope that you had nice celebrations. Um, we celebrated my husband and we sort of had a bit of a cruisy day. And then in the afternoon we did um, presents and we played some board games together. Uh, we had a game of Trivial Pursuit. So we did mum mum and dad or parents against the kids so um yes i'm just trying to think the kids won actually yeah the kids beat us so yeah <laughs> uh yeah so that was fun and then we had a special dinner we were going to have a barbecue but it was a little bit too breezy for the barbecue so we ended up just um cooking everything inside but that was yummy and we had special desserts and things for my husband and um, yeah, spoiled him. So, so it was lovely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, I've got, um, a few things to just let you know about before we get onto our project today. I've got a project prepared for you today. Um, and we're going to be playing with some of the new celebration, um, goodies so that I can give you some ideas of how you can use them. Now, just to let you know as well, um, for the month of September, I actually have, um, for anybody who purchases with me, no matter um, the amount of your order, I have a free tutorial bundle. It's a mega tutorial bundle um, to give to you as a thank you gift. So it has 39 tutorials in it. So it's over 200 pages long, this, these tutorials. It's um, split into two different parts. Um, and it is, uh, they are uh, PDF tutorials that have been written by demonstrators from all over the world um, who participate in my training group that, um, oh, not my training group, it's Kylie um, and Bruno Batucci's training group that I'm part of. And so, um, yeah, some of us contributed to the PDF bundle and mine is one of them there. And so um, I'm giving that as a free gift for anyone that purchases with me this month of September. So um, if you would like that, pre, that free tutorial bundle, now it's um, in the tutorial bundle. It is all based on our lovely celebration items. So um, all of the projects in there are using celebration items. And um, the PDF itself is actually valued at 30 Australian dollars. So um, if you are actually watching from overseas and you would like to get a copy of the uh, bundle, the tutorial bundle, I can actually sell it to you. Um, it's 30 Australian dollars. And um, the reason that I can do that is because it's a PDF, I can actually send you the links for those PDFs and then um, you'll be able to then download that, print them off or just view them from your computer. 
um, yeah, and choose the ones that you like and get lots of good ideas for using our celebration items. So um, if you would like more information about that, please feel free to get in contact with me. Send me a private message or an email. You can email me at mandyspapercraftcreations at gmail.com um, or send me a private message on Facebook, either through my business page or if, you, um, if you're on my friends list, you can send me a personal private message um, through my personal profile as well. So either or it would be fine. Um, but there's some amazing projects in this tutorial bundle. It's amazing. Um, really, really beautiful. So, um, yeah, so you want to get your hands on one of these bundles. My team are very lucky because they get to have a copy of this for free because I have given a copy to my team for free. My team get all these added um, perks as being part of my team. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to be uploading that. Uh, my, my aim is to get that to them today because I was telling them about it on Saturday during our team gathering and um, yes then Sunday's my day off and we had Father's Day and everything anyway so it was busy so I'm endeavoring any of my team that are here today actually I can see some of my team are here um, I will endeavor to get that to you today so hi Athena great to have you here hi Leslie hi Michelle hi Glenda great to have you all here thank you so much for being here um, yes, Glenda, I am well. Thank you very much. Um, actually, sitting out in the wind just flared up my asthma a little bit. So I took my puffer. I'm all good to go. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's lovely outside, but the wind isn't always such a good idea uh, when you're asthmatic. So <laughs> but, you know, it's good to have some fresh air. Um, but all good, all good. Um, so, yeah, so that's what's happening with my uh, PDF tutorial bundle. And um, if you don't already know about Celebration, let me tell you a little bit more about that. Celebration um, started on the 3rd of August and it runs until the 30th of September. And with every purchase over $90, um, you will get to choose a free Celebration item from this brochure. And there's lots and lots of um, products in there. We're gonna be playing with some of them today. There is um, dies, there's stamp sets, there's designer series paper, there's beautiful bling bling paper. Look at that beautiful bedazzling paper, beautiful paper. Um, so yeah, so with any purchase over $90, you get to choose um, a product from this celebration brochure. So if you don't already know about this, let me know. I'd love to get one to you. We've still got time. Um, if you would like to view it on my blog, if you want to view the PDF version of the celebration brochure or of any of our um, current catalogs, you can actually find them on my blog. You'll see my blog um, address when I tip the camera down to the desktop. I've got that down on the desk there for you so you can jot that down. Um, hey Laura, great to have you here. Um, Laura says, hi Mandy from New Zealand. I'm cooking dinner while watching your live chat. Bacon and eggs for us, yum yum. Um, one of our family favorites. Oh, fantastic. Guess what I had for, well, actually I had brunch today. I didn't have breakfast. I had brunch and I had, uh, I did have eggs, but I didn't have any bacon, but I had mushrooms and um, fried tomatoes and I had some fresh avocado and a couple of eggs and toast. It was yummy. So I'm all good till dinner time now. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Oh, Diane says, Hi Mandy, what else do I do while I recover? You watch me and you watch what I'm creating and you have a great time. I hope that you're feeling really, uh, you're feeling better really soon, Diane. I'm sorry that you haven't been well, but I'm so glad to um, have you with us today. Yes, that's correct. You watch a friend. That's right. You join, join us for our, our fun, creative time. Um, I apologize for any noise from the puppy. My daughter um, has been out and just got home and I can hear the dog going crazy upstairs. She's a bit excited. <laughs> She's a bit stressed when my daughter left to go out today. Um, she didn't want her to go out. Um, so the other thing with celebration as well is if you love Stampin' Up! products, if you have a big wish list, um, anytime is a great time to become part of the Stampin' Up! community, but especially now during celebration because if you choose to um, purchase the starter kit and become part of the Stampin' Up! community, you actually get to choose a free bundle as well from the mini catalogue, the new mini catalogue which just launched in August. 
So um, there's information about that on page 19 of the Celebration brochure. It has all of them listed and I've just got a little visual there for you. It's a bit hard to see on camera because they're only quite small images. Um, but yeah, it's a great chance to um, take up that opportunity and add a free bundle for free. Oh, well, I already said that, didn't I? Free, free. Yeah, it's very free <laughs> um, to your starter kit. So your starter kit only costs you $169, but you choose what you put into that starter kit. So basically you choose $235 worth of product that you would like to put into that starter kit and you only pay $169 for it. Plus you get to choose a free bundle on top of that and you'll get free shipping on that starter kit purchase. And then from there, you're going to get 20% discount on all of your Stampin' Up! products. Plus you'll be joining an awesome crafty community of beautiful people where you'll make um, beautiful new friends. You'll get lots of creative inspiration and just have a great time. There's so many other more benefits of um, joining with my team um, and joining the Stampin' Up! community. And if I can give you any more information about that, um, if that's something that you might be interested in, please feel free to get in contact with me and I can answer all of your questions. I can send you an information pack if you'd like to find out more. Um, but it really is a fantastic um, community to be a part of. So um, yeah, so feel free to get in contact with me and let me know if you'd like more information. So this is the beautiful mini catalog that I mentioned before. If you don't already have one of these, please let me know. I'd love to get one out to you. Um, if you're looking to start on your Christmas projects, um, Christmas cards, gift projects, this is the, the great one to have for that. There's lots of inspiration in here and lots of beautiful um, Christmas themed pr uh, products. So if you would like one of these catalogues, please get in contact with me and I would love to get one of those out to you as well. And of course, we have our big annual catalogue as well, which is jam-packed. This is my working copy. So you can see I've got all my tabs in here and I've had mine spiral bound and had a nice clear cover put on it because I utilise this one basically daily um, for a whole year. So... <laughs> So feel free to get in contact with me and I'll be happy to get any of those catalogues out to you. Okay, well, would you like to see what we're playing with today? I bet you do. Um, so let me just tell you that we're going to be playing with some, uh, as I said, some of the free celebration items today. And the one that we're going to be playing with is the beautiful, let me just turn the page, the beautiful, um, beautifully penned 12 by 12 designer series paper. It, it's this one here. It's a black and white designer series paper that you can color yourself using any, any of our coloring mediums. Um, you can use everything from chalks, watercolor pencils, stamp and blends, um, blending brushes without inks. Um, you can use oh, all different sorts of coloring techniques and mediums on this beautiful paper or you can use it as black and white as it is it's actually more than rather than black it's more like a basic gray sort of color um, it's not really really black but let me show you the beautiful papers so there are three double-sided designs here they are here I should actually have this white one in the middle to break up the two darker colors there we go and you can see them a bit better there we go so these are the beautiful papers and you might think they look familiar and yes they are because they are some of the patterns from the hand penned designer series paper um, but the beauty of these ones are one it's free you can choose this as one of your free items when you spend over $90 during celebration so that's up until the 30th of September 2021 um, and then you can color it whatever color you like or use it as black and white and then on the other side You've got these fantastic, whoops, I dropped one, hang on a minute. It slipped down, there we go. You've got these fabulous patterns here. Um, and again, you can either use them as black and white or you can color them. And so there are 12 sheets in total. So you get four of each one of these um, in this pack. Now this is also great if you want to send, if you have crafty friends and you want to send them a little gift, you could perhaps break this paper pack up, cut it down into six by six or into um, six by 12 pieces and um, give it as a gift as well. Share it with your friends, your family. Um, yeah, so, or use it all yourself. Um, totally up to you. So I will um, 
tip the camera down onto the desk now and I will show you what we're going to be creating. Now, if you've got any questions as I'm going through, feel free to pop them in the comments. I'm watching the comments on my iPad. So feel free to pop all of your questions in the, um, in the chat. And also too, uh, in the comments I should say, also too, if you've used this paper um, and you've got some ideas of different ways of using it, pop that in the comments too, so that we can help other people to know how they can use this paper. That would be really helpful. All right, so I'm gonna cover up the camera and I'll tip it down onto my desktop and we can get started. So just bear with me for a moment. Okay, here we go. The reason I cover up my camera, now this might be a little bit noisy as I do this because I have to adjust my clamp. The reason that I cover my camera up is so that I don't make you dizzy and seasick as I'm adjusting my camera because it is a little bit um, wibbly wobbly. Okay, so let's get that all straightened up. There we go. And put some, cam uh, some camera, some lights down onto the desk. Now just wait for my iPad to catch up um, and my iPad has frozen. It did this to me last week too. So I'll just wait for that to catch up and so then I can see if we are straight. I think we're not really particularly straight. Oh, we nearly are straight. Well, that's good. Let's just go that way a little bit. Does that make it better? Okay. So if you are looking for any of these products that I'm going to show you today, um, if you're looking for any of these or you're looking for some creative inspiration, jump over to my blog at mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. At the top of my blog, you'll see a shop button. You'll also see the join button there too if you are interested in joining. Although um, if you have lots of uh, if you have any questions um, or you would like some help, then um, definitely shout out to me first. Um, but yeah, if you if you would like to just go and just join with me, then that's fine too. The join button is there. But jump over to my um, shop via my blog and you can have a browse there and find all of the products um, that I'm using today, um, as well as any other products that um, are current with Stampin' Up! as well. If you're shopping with me, um, please use my host code. This is my host code for September. And um, whenever you spend over $50 with me, um, I do like to give you a thank you gift, but for the month of September, any, um, oh, I just noticed my camera is really wonky now. Um, any purchase with me during September will get, uh, use the host code and you will get that free mega tutorial bundle. It's the celebration um, mega tutorial bundle. Just going to tweak that camera a little bit and try and straighten that up. I did have it straight and then I fiddled with it. I should have left it as it was. <laughs> so yeah, so be sure to use my host code um, when you're using uh, my online store. I also do have a Stampin' Up! website. It's mandywithabee.stampinup.net. Feel free to jump over there as well. Um, you'll see all of my upcoming... Um, events that are listed there as well i do pop them up in facebook too um but sometimes they can get a little bit lost in facebook in the feed but yeah certainly check um check out my calendar there in my um, website all right so as i said here is the beautiful um beautifully penned 12 by 12 uh designer series paper and as i said there's 12 sheets in there so you get four of each one of these beautiful papers. So that's the one side, as I said, and then that's the other side as well. So it's some of the designs from the hand-penned um, designer series paper from the annual catalogue, um, but not all of them. All right, and the other thing that we are going to be using today is from the annual catalogue, and we're going to be using um, the hand-penned bundle. Now let me show you where to find this in the annual catalogue. So it is from the hand penned suite. There is an entire suite of products um, around this, but we're just using the bundle today. And it's on page 159 of your annual catalogue. And here it is down here. So if you love this um, bundle, when you see me use it today, or perhaps you already have it, just remember that 
if you purchase the stamp set and dies together as a bundle you will save yourself 10 percent okay so i always suggest to anybody to if they are looking at a stamp set always check to see if it has a die or a punch that coordinates with it and i always suggest getting them together at the same time because nine times out of ten what happens and i've done it too is you'll buy the stamp set you won't get the coordinating dies or punch and then down the track you'll think oh i wish i had have bought the coordinating dies or i wish i had have bought the coordinating punch and then you go and purchase that separately then you're paying full price you don't get that discount so yeah so always think about getting the bundle together but they are beautiful so let me show you a bit up uh show them to you a bit closer up oh hey jenny great to see you um sunny down in tassie great fantastic is it warming up down there now we are expected to have i think they said 27 or 29 or something next saturday so it's really starting to uh, warm up up here in sydney um, well actually we're western sydney so it's a little bit warmer out here usually um, so this is the hand penned petals stamp set really beautiful um sort of sketched um, artwork in this one and it is a two-step stamp set as well so I'm going to be doing some two-step stamping today so I can show you what that looks like if you haven't used two-step stamping before but basically you've got the outline stamps and then you've got the color fill stamps or the solid colors that you can use to color your stamped images or of course you can just stamp them um, as an outline and then color them with your favorite color medium as well so you've got two different options or lots of different options actually um, with these types of stamp sets now the images on this stamp set are only shown at 90 percent um, just to fit all of the images on here so you'll notice when i bring the stamps out they are actually bigger this is the hand flower uh, sorry the penned flower dies that coordinate with this stamp set there's 14 dies in this set and here they are here so we have a die that um, will die cut the stamped images so this one this one um, this one and then we've got some additional dies as well so if I take this one out you'll see so that's the outline that will die cut um, the stamped image but then you've got this other detailed die as well that you can use as a standalone and there's quite a few of those in here as well we've got some additional flowers and then we've got this really cute little scalloped border die which we're going to be using today as well so this is a really really versatile um, die set because there's lots of uses for this one um, that you have lots and lots of options okay so that's the products that we're going to be using um, the coloured inks that we're using today, we're using Memento ink for our um, stamped images and then for and for our sentiment. And then for our colouring, we're using Highland Heather, Coastal Cabana and Pear Pizzazz. I love these three colours together. I just think they're so, so beautiful. Um, and I've just got a dauber as well. We're going to do a little bit of daubering with the Highland Heather for our um, sentiment label. So they are the ones that we're going to be using. And let me show you the project that we're going to be using to uh, creating today. So it's this one here. And you might think, oh, that looks a little bit familiar. Well, actually, what I did, let me remove my sticky note from there. I actually cased the catalogue or the brochure. This is the celebration brochure. Okay. So this designer series paper can be found on page seven. And as I said before, this is one of the free items that you can choose with a $90 purchase. Okay, so there's lots of different items in here that you can choose. This is just one of them. Um, and I looked at this project here and I thought, oh, that's really pretty. I would like to make that one. But I decided to change up the colors and just change up um, the which papers I was using as well um, from the sample here. And I changed the sentiment, the ribbon. So basically, I cased the layout of that, but I changed everything else. So, <laughs> um, but I love that with all of our catalogs and brochures that we um, there's so many samples in there to um, inspire us creatively, and we can copy them exactly, or we can change them up and make them our own. And that's when we use the word case, C A S E, copy and selectively edit so that's what i did so if you're wondering where i got this layout from it was from there 
So I'll pop that back in there. All right, so let me show you how I created this um, project. I have got all the bits and pieces ready to go. And I've got everything prepped so I can give you all of the dimensions of everything as well. Okay, so this is our card base and this is in Coastal Cabana. Um, I just love this vibrant colour. It's so beautiful. This one is um, just a standard card base. So it's half of an A4 sheet. We use A4 here in Australia. Uh, I think in Europe they do as well. Uh, Canada and the US use uh, met, um, letter size, which is in, in an imperial measurement. So it's a little bit different to our cardstock. But anyway, this is Australian, so I'm giving metric measurements. So I've cut this A4 sheet in half. Um, and it measures 14.8, uh, sorry, 21 centimetres by 14.85 centimetres. And then I've just scored that in half at 10.5 centimetres, folded it, and then burnished it with my bone folder. And that's what we call when we just rub that along the edge. That's called burnishing. And it just helps to give a nice um, formed crease there and helps your card to stay um, much flatter even though it does tend to pop up a little bit because it's very strong cardstock, but does sit down much better when you burnish that edge. All right, then I've got, um, I've actually got a piece of um, 14, uh, sorry, 10.5 by 14.85 of, um, so this is a quarter piece of thick basic white cardstock that I'm going to stamp my images on. Now, the reason I chose thick was because originally I was thinking about um, coloring the images with my Stampin' Blends because these are an alcohol based marker um, they work you can use it with the ordinary cardstock but they do work best I find personally with the thick cardstock because it gives a better absorbency for the um, the alcohol in these alcohol markers in the Stampin' Blends um, but then I decided I was going to do two step stamping instead but I'd already cut my piece so I'm going to use the, um, the thick piece but you can use regular I've also um, chosen a piece of that designer series paper, as I said to you before. Um, I'm using the spot side. On the other side, you've got the leaf side. Okay, so I'm using the spotty side, and this one measures 14.25 by 9.9 .9 centimeters. Then I've got a piece of the opposite side and uh, with the leaves on it, and this one is 10.1 by 5.8. I've got a piece of um, a piece of uh, I think I don't know if this one was I think this was thick as well doesn't matter either thick or regular basic white cardstock this piece measured um, 5.8 centimeters by 2.6 centimeters wide and then I die cut it I just die cut the very edge off it with um, my scalloped die so I just took the very edge I lined this up basically almost along the edge and then just um, die cut that to get that nice scallop. Um, and what I did is I actually um, put the scallop so that the scallop would fi um, finish completely on each end. See how I've done that? So the scallop finishes completely on each end. Just kind of lined, lined up the die to um, make it fit that way. So then it's no it looks like it's nice and finished off. And then for the ribbon, the ribbon measures um, 20.5 centimetres and I haven't yet um, trimmed up that end yet because I found when I was doing my sample piece it actually got caught on the adhesive and um, when I tried to remove it off the adhesive it frayed a little bit and I had to trim it up a bit so I thought well this time I'll make it a little bit longer to begin with and then I can always trim it up a bit if I need to. Okay so they're all of our pieces. So what we're going to do first is we will do all of our stamping first. Okay, so I'll pop all of these pieces off to the side. All right, so does anybody else have this designer series paper yet? Have you had a play with it? I'm going to bring in my um, stamp and pierce mat so that I've got that little bit of um, cushioning underneath my stamps because these stamps are photopolymer stamps so they don't have much give in them when you're stamping so it's good to have um, the stamp and pierce mat underneath for that little bit of cushioning and you get a much nicer um, uh, nicer stamped image with that all right so we're going to use a little bit of memento tuxedo black 
and I like to, when I'm using a large image like this, I like to rub it around on the image first and then dab. And I find that that just helps the ink to adhere to the photopolymer. And all of your photopolymer stamps, when you first get them, make sure you give them a really good clean before you use them because they do come with a little bit of, a um, bit of a sort of like a, an oily film on them from the manufacturing and it doesn't hold the ink very well if you try and use them straight out of the, um, the packet. So make sure you give them a clean first. I just use um, one of our Simply Chamois, which is, um, you'll see it in a moment because I'm going to use it to clean this stamp. I've actually or just ordered two brand new chamois because the chamois I've been using are pretty scungy. I've had them for a really long time. Um, and I've washed them a few, I, I rinse them out every, like every few days, but I've actually washed them in detergent and water and then wrung them out, let them dry out and then used them again. Because um, you've got to be careful about mildew in them too if you don't let them air enough. They do need a little bit of air. Um, so yeah, so anyway, I'm going to be replacing mine because mine are looking pretty scungy nowadays. I'll show you. I think this is the better one of the two. <laughs> So they do get a bit stained. Well, they do get quite stained over time, but so long as you rinse them out um, every few days and let the water just run clear. Once the water runs clear, you know that you've got all of the loose ink. Hang on, I need to pull up my sleeves. I'm getting hot now, I'm talking. Um, yeah, you need to just run them under the water to release any of the, um, the excess ink in them. But they do stain up, but it doesn't affect how they clean. The reason I'm... Um, replacing mine is they're, they're starting to smell a little bit even though I've washed them out a few times and let them air um, and as I said I've had mine for a really really long time um, so I just replace them probably every six to twelve months um, just because I'm using mine a lot too so all right so that's our two um, stamped images done I'll while I've got the memento out I'll actually stamp the sentiment as well and I'm using the thanks sentiment Oh, I didn't show you on the stamp case which is the floral image that I'm using. Um, this design of card would work with either of the floral images, um, but I'm using this one here. Okay, so down in the bottom right hand corner, and I'm using the thanks sentiment. Now I'm also going to use some of the colour fill stamps as well to colour in the flowers here. So I'm going to use this one and this one, and then I'm using both size leaves, both of those two there. Okay. So they're the ones I'm using in case you're wondering. All right, so I'll just stamp my sentiment as well. I really love the font in this one. It's such a beautiful font and it's really nice and um, fine. And it does look like it's actually handwritten, this one. So I'm just going to line that up in the middle there. Hopefully I've got that in the middle. There we go. Not too bad. All right, and stamp off the excess ink. That's another thing too with your chamois. When you're using your chamois, it's good to stamp off the excess ink onto some scrap paper first before cleaning it. And that just um, limits the amount of excess ink that you're putting back into the chamois. And then you won't need to rinse it out as often. Okay, so there we've got our sentiment. We'll pop that to the side. And now we can do our um, colours. So we'll bring in our three colors. Now, as I said, you could color these with your own coloring medium. Remember that if you are doing any water coloring with them though, you will need to use, instead of memento black ink, you would need to use the stays on um, because the me memento is a dye-based ink. So it will actually run if you use any, or it'll bleed and run if you use any um, water coloring on it. So be sure to use stays on. But if you're using, um, the two-step stamping, it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, and if you're using Stampin' Blends, then you have to use the Memento ink because the Stampin' Blends are alcohol. And if you use the alcohol with the, the stays on ink, it will actually bleed. So just remember, you have to use the opposite. <laughs> so alcohol with a, a water-based ink. And yeah, that's... I won't keep going over that because I don't want to confuse anybody. But just remember, these two go together. Okay, so memento and blends go together. All right, so we are using, as I said, Highland Heather, Coastal Cabana and Pear Pizzazz. 
I've got my stamps already all mounted up. Okay, so Highland Heather first, we're going to be stamping the large flower or filling in the large flower. So this is the one that um, we use to do that. Now, just to let you know, um, with this one, it is not designed to completely fill the entire the entire image okay you're meant to have those little white sections in the image it's the the way that these stamps are actually designed it's meant to give more of a watercolor look um, without actually being watercolored so you have those little bit of bits of um, white there so we'll turn that around and do the other one so yeah so we need two of these one for each corner of the card hence why I have um, stamped two. Okay, so we'll just ink the excess off that one and I'll give that a clean in a moment. Then the Coastal Cabana is going to be for the um, small flower. Same thing again, it's not meant to line up exactly. There we go. It's, it's meant to give like a really artistic sort of look. So if I show you that up close, you'll see that it doesn't actually completely fill the space. Um, so if you if you're not um, if you don't like that kind of look, then you you are most welcome to just color the stamped image with um, your own coloring mediums in the style that you prefer. Um, and pear pizzazz we're using for the leaves, and also too, I'm using the small leaf to also fill in this top part here. See this part here of the flower? It's where the, um, the stem of the flower comes up to meet the, um, the petals of the flower. I actually used the um, pear pizzazz to color that as well, but the pear pizzazz is quite strong. So we want to stamp it off and I'm going to turn the leaf upside down to just add a little bit of color in there to the stem. It's not meant for that, but it kind of works. There we go. It just adds a little bit of color there. And then we want to add a little bit of, we'll turn the leaf up the right way now. One there. And one there. Okay, great. All right. And now for the large leaves. So what I'm doing now, this is called stamping off. So when the color is too dark or you want to do a graduated color, um, you stamp off onto a scrap piece of cardstock first and then stamp onto your image. And that just removes a little bit of ink. And when you're doing the stamping off, you don't hold the stamp down for too long. You're basically dabbing it down onto your scrap and then lifting it straight up. There we go. So we'll turn this back around. Oh, I forgot to stamp off. Oh, I did too. And look how dark that was. Okay, that's all right. We're going to have one dark leaf on that one. I was jumping ahead of myself, but now you can see the difference. So see how that one looks a bit darker than that one? So, but that's okay. What I might do to make this one the same, I might stamp this one again, although it might go really, really dark now. Let me stamp off again and I'll stamp over the top again and see if I can make that a bit darker, there we go. So they're kind of a bit more similar. That'll be fine. Okay, but yeah, you can see the color difference there between um, stamped off and just stamped what we call first generation. So there's another way of saying it. This is first generation, so just stamping directly. And then when you stamp off, it's called second generation. And then you can go third generation, fourth generation, etc. All right, so there we go. So we've got our stamped images. Oh, I just smudged that green ink. Ah, that's okay. We're going to die cut that anyway. Had a little bit of excess ink there on my fingers. Just wipe that off on my chamois. There we go. And we'll give our stamps a quick little clean. Always good to clean your stamps um, as soon as possible so that that helps to eliminate um, too much staining on your photopolymer stamps because they like to hold the colour. There we go. All right, check my hands again. All right, so I'm going to bring in my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm using my mini today. 
my cute little mini. I love using this one on my desktop. It's um, super, super compact. Um, so if you're not familiar with this Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, both the mini machine and the regular machine come with all the plates needed to get you started. Um, and you can purchase replacement plates if they become really cut up and warped over time, over lots and lots of use. Um, you can purchase replacement plates as well, um, but they do come with what you need to get you started. Um, it does fold up compact, so it's got a very small, um, what they call footprint, so it doesn't take up too much space. And this one's really light. It's got rubber feet to help it from slipping. Um, however, I've got it on a fairly slippery surface, so it's not doesn't really grip on my surface. Um, yeah, and this one is great for um, if you're going to crops or um, traveling, which none of us are doing much of that at the moment. But um, when we are, it's a great one to take with you because it's nice and compact. Okay, so this machine, the Mini, has a smaller feeding mouth than the large machine. I think it's, I forget how wide it is. Um, well, the plates themselves are, let's see, um, 8 point, what is that, 8.7 centimetres wide, which is 3.5 inches wide. And the larger machine um, is much wider, obviously, because it's a bigger machine. All right, so the dies that we need for this one are these ones here. So this outline one here. So take that one off there. I'm going to line that up with my stamped image. And I'm going to hold that down with a little bit of washi tape. There we go. Okay. This one is great to keep on your desk as well because it's nice and compact um, and it's easy just to whip it out and um, and start cutting. Now, of course, some of the really large dies, especially some of the large um, solid shape dies and some of the larger embossing folders um, will not fit through this machine. Um, but there are some embossing folders that are made specifically for this machine that do fit um, through um, and a lot of the the um, smaller dies, like the um, individual shaped dies and things like that, they will fit through. But some of the large circles and the large rectangles and things like that, they won't fit through this machine. So it just depends on um, your needs and which machine would suit you. But if you would like more information on the Stamper Cut and Emboss machines, feel free to get in contact with me as well. And um, I'm happy to answer any of your questions about the machines or about any of the products actually there we go so i'll just you oops i don't want to get that on my stamped image there we go okay so holding that down with a little bit of washi tape or you can use painter's tape um, and i've got that between my two clear plates and then we're just going to feed that through there we go sorry if it's bumping the desk a little bit as i do that um, Oh, hey, Megan. I didn't see you jump on. Sorry. I was busy talking. <laughs> How are you? Um, Glenda said she's got a couple of packs of the designer series paper that we're using today. Fantastic. Um, and, oh, she's got a bite mark out of one cor one of the corners. <laughs> Taken a little chunk out of one, did you, Glenda, for a project? <laughs> uh Oh, Glenda said with her um, Simply Chamois, she soaks hers overnight in warm water and bleach and they come up lovely and clean, but a bit pink in colour. Oh, cool. Thank you for that tip. That's a good idea. There you go. If you want to give your chamois a good clean, you can try Glenda's tip there. All right. So I'll pop those to the side. I'll put my die back on my die sheet before I lose it. I haven't got this one onto my magnetic sheets yet. I only just opened it actually today. Oh, I've got some extra paper in there. So we'll just use my take your pick tool to get those out. I've got to work out how to get it back on here now because I haven't even, um, oh, there we go. I haven't even traced around these ones yet so I know where they fit back on. <laughs> I'll have to get onto that. I think I'll just remove them from there and put them onto my magnetic sheets. Um, okay, so we've got all of our pieces ready to go. 
Um, now, oh, actually, before we do that, while we've still got our inks out, I'll just take out my Highland Heather and my dauber because I forgot to do my daubering around my sentiment label. Now, because um, there's a lot of white in the background, I wanted to make sure that my sentiment label sort of popped a little bit. So I'm running a little bit of um, the Highland Heather ink just around the edges using my dauber. So the um, sponge daubers, they come in a pack of five. You can find them in the colorings coloring tools section of the annual catalog that's towards the back of the catalog in the accessories you'll find them there and they come in a pack of five and um, I love them daubering is my favorite coloring technique I do this on a lot of my projects I think perhaps this should become my signature what do you think <laughs> daubering Mandy's signature so I do do it on a lot of my projects especially on my sentiment labels all right, so I'll pop that away. Now we've got all of our pieces ready to go. All right, so there we go. We've got all of our pieces. So let's just take these ones off. I'm going to pop down my spotty paper. I love this. How funny is this paper? It actually reminds me of one of my um, uh, top that I have. I have a blouse, a, a blouse that is um, white with little black polka dots. And this paper reminds me of that. There we go. Oh, sticky. All right, so we're just popping this down. So we'll have a nice um, three millimeter border all the way around, providing I've cut my cardstock correctly. <laughs> it was funny because when I went to create the sample for today, I was double, I was double checking my measurements of my um, designer series paper because I was thinking, hang on, I haven't cut that right. My border isn't right. I checked it I checked it about twice two or three times and then I thought hang on let me check my card base so I went and checked my card base and I actually hadn't cut my card base correctly I it was an extra millimeter or two millimeters or something but it made a difference with getting my border um, straight and I had to have my border straight so <laughs> I had to trim down my card base all right so now we're going to just pop down this little panel here in the middle oh sticky sticky all right now when I did this on my sample I didn't get it right in the middle but you know what you actually can't tell but if you want to be really fussy you can get your if you like to have yours absolutely precise you can get your ruler out and measure it all and everything to make sure that it's exactly in the middle but because we're putting a lot of layers on top like it doesn't really matter you can't tell that closely all right so now with the flowers we're going to pop them up onto dimensionals so we'll flip them over sorry i'm just getting all the glue off my fingers here we go um i'll bring out my dimensionals and we'll pop some of these down here and there on each of these whoops if you're unfamiliar with our Stampin' Dimensionals, these are um, our mounting foam and they are on, in little hexagonal shapes and I think they're a really great shape. So they come in a regular size like this and we also have them in a mini size as well. Or you can cut down this regular shape. Um, as you see on my sheet here, I've got a few pieces here that are cut down. This is actually from the edge pieces that I've cut down, which are great for using for some of those smaller sections, such as, let's use some of these for the stem. I like using these little edge pieces for these little bits and pieces. And we'll pop one more down here. Oh, and I think we need one over here. There we go. All right, oh, this one's got more dimensionals than this one, hasn't it? That's okay. All right, so we're gonna pop these down first. So we'll just remove all of those backings from the dimensionals. So they are double-sided, or the adhesive is um, on both sides. So yes, double-sided adhesive. There we go. And we're just simply gonna pop them down in each diagonal corner, like so. This is a really, really easy layout to do. 
and the fact that this stamp set has the is a uh, is a two step stamp set so that means that we have the outline of the design and then we've got those oops better go up the right way and then we've got the um the solid shapes or the color fill shapes i like to call them to do the coloring for us so it makes it super um quick and easy to create a card now i've got to get these dimensional backings off my desk they're sticking to my desk there we go okay um all right so now it looks like this now before we go any further before we put our sentiment label on what we're going to do is we're going to create this little zigzaggy ribbon behind our sentiment and we're going to do that before we adhere it onto the card so i'm using my silicon craft sheet because the adhesive will not stick to this again this is in the annual catalog um, in the accessories section um, the silicon craft sheet and these are great for using with your adhesives so I'm just going to run a little bit of um, stamp and seal along the back of my sentiment label here just run two strips along there make sure I get that right to the edge okay then what I'm going to do with my ribbon so move my label up is I'm going to zigzag my ribbon like this just using my fingers to hold it in place and as I said I cut this one a little bit longer so that I could trim it down when um, I had it on my label so we're going to zigzag it like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our label now because our labels got that um, adhesive on the back of it we're going to take our label and if we can unstick it from our fingers we're going to adhere that over the top of that ribbon and then as i'm doing that i'm just moving the ribbon so that i've got a little of a little bit of a border in fact hang on a minute before i stick that down oops off come off my fingers there we go i just want this little tail to be out a little bit further there we go like that Okay, so we zigzag the ribbon like that or something like that and then take our label that's got the adhesive on it and stick that down over the top of our ribbon. And we want it so that we've got a bit of ribbon showing at the bottom and a bit of ribbon showing at the top. So it's creating like a border. It's instead of putting it onto another piece of um, design uh, cardstock now instead of using colored cardstock behind it we're using ribbon and that will help to make that pop off the card then you can just manipulate your ribbon a little bit whoops i manipulated that a little bit too much because we've got that adhesive there oh that just came unstuck that didn't happen the first time i did this there we go okay so there you go oh this one's now playing up Let's get that down there there we go okay and so then we can um, tease that ribbon out a little bit fiddle with it as much as you like till you've got it how you'd like it and then we're going to trim the other end okay and then if you find that your ribbon is too too long one end or whatever you can then just you know fiddle with it till you're happy and then we're going to flip that over I'm going to flip it over and we're going to now put dimensionals onto the back of that so that ribbon is sticking to the um, stamp and seal that we put down or you could use um, tear and tape or stamp and seal plus and now we're going to put dimensionals over the top of that and i'm going to put dimensionals on the outside edges because when i lay it down so that's just a single layer of dimensionals there because when I lay it down onto my card, you've got this blank space here in the middle. So what we need to do there is we need to do two layers of dimensional in the middle. So that's one, and then we need to stick another one on top of that. Okay, because these flowers are already popped up on dimensionals, and then these ones are gonna stick on top of that, on top of those. So that will create two levels. one didn't come off there we go okay so now 
and bring in our card. And then we'll just pop our label down here in the middle. Before I stick that really tight, I'm going to make sure I've got that reasonably centered. There we go. So that single layer of dimensionals is attaching to the flowers and that double layer is attached to the center directly onto the card front. Okay. Now we just need to add our bling. So when I did my first one, I added these beautiful um, pastel pearls, which look fantastic. But I thought to just give you another idea for this one, what I thought I might do this time is you could either use the opal rounds or you could just use the plain um, rhinestone basic jewels and you can color them with your Stampin' Blends. So I'm gonna use the opal rounds and I'm gonna color some of these with my Highland Heather Stampin' Blend and I've got the, the dark Highland Heather. So let's see, um, I think I'll use the smaller ones. So we'll use these ones here. And because the um, Stampin' Blends work well with non-porous surfaces, um, we can color our embellishments. And I love that we can make them whatever color we like with our Stampin' Blends. So I usually give them a couple of coats, okay? And then, and if actually, we could actually even do them. So that's in, well, let's try the Gorgeous Grape. That's Highland Heather. Let's see, let's grab, um, nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Um, Oh, oh, we don't have the in gorgeous group. Ah, oh, fresh freesia is the other one. That will be lighter. Okay, so we'll stick with Highland Heather because fresh freesia will be a little bit too light. Um, the blends don't come in gorgeous grape, I believe. I should have checked that. Let me see. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'll just have a little look to see. I have a feeling that Highland Heather is the only... Oh, yes, Gorgeous Grape. The Stampin' Blends don't come in Gorgeous Grape. They only come in Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia in the purples. But they come in lots of other colours too. All right, so give that a little moment to dry and then we can take um, remove those and then pop them onto our project. So let's pop one up here. And we'll pop this one. Let's see. Maybe I'll pop them. I might put them on the... These ones are a little bit lighter than the um, pastel pearls. So I might actually put them onto the white this time instead of onto the, um, the grey paper there. There we go. So there is our project complete. So there's the first one. Which embellishments do you like better? Let me know in the comments. Oh, hi, Angela. How are you going? I just saw that you jumped on. Uh, Megan said, no crafting happening here at the moment. You accidentally let yourself run out of adhesive. Oh, no. Disaster. <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like I'll have to do an emergency run to spotlight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hopefully you'll be able to get some soon. Uh, Leslie says, beautiful card, Mandy. Thank you. Hi, Judy. Judy says, I love that idea. Color matching the embellishments. Add it to the wish list. Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, great. Your BBB arrived, Judy. Fantastic. That's great. Um, Glenda said, gorgeous card. Love the colors. Um, Judy likes the one I just did the best. This one with the lighter colors. Awesome. They are very soft and pretty, these ones. Yeah. Um, Jenny likes the one with the pearls. Yeah. Um, Angela said um, that she's good. That's good. Good, thanks. Yep. Yeah. Like the bling on the light background, this one. Yeah. You can see it better, can't you, on the white, actually. Perhaps with this one, I should have put it on the white. But aren't they beautiful? Really, really beautiful. So I'm going to keep these as my thank you cards for this month for my customers. So there you go. Oh, and for any of you who were um, who came along to my um, mini catalog and celebration celebration, um, 
I will be drawing the prizes today for the um, the two prize draws that I had. One was for um, a, an ordering prize draw and one was for a wish list prize draw. So I'll be drawing those later today um, and I will let you know who the winners are. Um, so the cutoff was the 1st of September and then we had Amber's birthday on the 2nd and then um, I wasn't feeling well for a couple of days and then we had Father's Day. So it's all been happening, um, but I will get it done today. So yeah, um, Judy said, oh, Megan said both are great, but you like the bling on the white better. Yeah, I think I like this one better too with the, the, um, the bling on the white. You can see it much better, hey? Judy said, I can't see any color differences um, other than the pearls. Yeah, so it was just the pearls I changed, Judy. Um, so this one was the, everything else I colored exactly the same. It was just the bling I changed. So I used the pastel pearls on this one. And this one I used the opal rounds, which I colored with the Stampin' Blend. Yeah. So that was the only difference. The layout was exactly the same. So yeah, but you could certainly do it in any colors. And having that designer series paper in the black and the white, you could either color that as well. Um, to coordinate with the colors that you're using in the stamped projects um, or stamped images I should say or you can just leave it in the black and white or gray and white it's not really black and white it's more gray and white um, yeah depending on what you like so I keep dropping out I'm sorry it's probably our internet we've been having a lot of trouble with our internet lately it's um, the whole the whole of um, I believe the whole of Sydney is having a hard time at the moment with the internet because of the big drain on it with um, all the homeschooling and people working from home and everything. So I apologize if I keep dropping out. Um, yeah, so again, remember this beautiful designer series paper is a free item from the Celebration brochure. It's called the Beautifully Penned um, Designer Series Paper. It's on page seven. And if you would like the item code, I'll read it out to you now. So if you've got your pen handy, here's the item code. It is 15 double six three zero one five double six three zero and it's a free item with a ninety dollar purchase during celebration so there you go all right so i will flip the camera up oh you haven't got any problems your end megan i'm not freezing for you okay oh that's good to know cool um so what did you just say about the celebration thing celebration so the paper I used today was from the Celebration brochure. So this is the paper. Okay, it's double-sided. There we go. And it comes from the Celebration brochure. Page 7. And um, I'll hold that up so you can see. Page 7. And it's the beautifully penned 12 by 12 designer series paper. And it's free with a $90 purchase, if you can see that little icon up there. So, oh, before that, um, what did I say about Celebration before that? That it's available till the 30th of September? Um, I'm not sure. I think... I was just talking about this paper being free during celebration. Um, I think that was all I was saying. <laughs> I can't remember what else I said. Does anyone else remember? Did I say something else prior to that? I'm not sure. Oh, prize draw. Yes, the prize draw from my, um, from my celebration, my mini catalog and celebration celebration. I'll be drawing the prizes from those later today. Um, the two challenges that, or the two prize draws that I had during that event, I'll be drawing them later today. And then I will post up um, in my page here, the winners of those, okay? All right, so let me just cover up my camera. I'll tip it up to um, say goodbye to you face to face. So just bear with me for one moment while I get that ready. Here we go, okay. Oh, it's squeaky. One of these days I'll remember to oil this thing, although maybe it's better that I don't, because if I oiled it, maybe the whole thing would just fall down. <laughs> okay. 
there we go oh wow they got that really crooked there we go adjust those lights okay still crooked get it right there we go come on sit sit stay good sounds like I'm talking to the dog <laughs> talking to my camera instead <laughs> All right, so there's my beautiful cards today. I hope you really liked them. Um, as I said, cased from the Celebration um, brochure, but changed up to make it my own. I always like to do that. Occasionally I do case projects directly, um, exactly the same, uh, but often I do like to change them up just to make them my own. So I hope you really liked that. I hope that that gave you some more ideas about using the beautiful um, designer series paper that you can earn for free during celebration. Um, oh, no worries, Judy. Um, okay, all good, no problem. Oh, thanks, Leslie. You have a great evening as well. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, Megan has a question. Yes, do you have the Whimsy Sweet um, on the Stampin' Up! website, it says it has Cherry Cobbler, but the pack, paper pack doesn't seem to have it. I'm confused. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't have the Whimsy Sweet, actually. It's one of the few I don't have. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I can't help you with that. Um, I'll take a look, though, for you, Megan, when I finish here. I'll take a look for you, and I'll write myself a note, actually. And um, I'll see what I can find out for you. So, let me see. So, it says... So on the website, it says it has Cherry Cobbler. So in the designer series paper, I'm assuming. Um, whimsy, sweet, um, Cherry Cobbler. Um, but the paper pack doesn't seem to have it. All right. I'll check for you, Megan, and I'll send you a message and see what I can find out. Um, no worries. It could have been a uh, misprint as well. Um, occasionally there are misprints in the catalogue. So that's another thing you could check to see if it is on the catalogue um, list as the uh, as a, one of the misprints. It could be one of the misprints. Um, there was another paper pack as well that listed a colour. I think it said Cajun Craze, but it was actually... Um, co um, Oh, goodness. What was it called? Calypso Coral. <laughs> there was one paper pack in the annual catalogue as well that had um, one colour incorrect. It said, I think on in the catalogue it said a particular colour and that one was correct, but on the paper pack it said a different colour that wasn't correct. Um, so occasionally from time to time little typos like that can happen with the colours. So um, it could just be what it is. Um, <laughs> Judy said she's already used her Twinkle Stella. <laughs> so she's referring to the Wink of Stella. Um, it's funny because when she first saw me using the Wink of Stella, she thought I said Twinkle Stella. And so now every time we talk about it, we always call it the Twinkle Stella. Yeah, <laughs> well, it does twinkle, so it kind of goes anyway. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm glad you're already using your products. That's awesome. Very good. Um, oh, Megan said, okay, no worries. She'll give um, Stampin' Up! a call tomorrow. Okay, no problem, Megan. Good, good, good. Um, you think it might be a misprint? Yeah, it could be. Occasionally that happens. So we're all human and sometimes little things like that can just slip through, especially when it's colours. So it can be a bit tricky. All right. Well, I hope you all have a great week. And um, remember, too, that I do go live again on Thursday mornings at 11 a.m. So if you're available and you'd like to join me again then, Thursday mornings I do quick and easy projects. Um, so if you are looking at quick and easy, if you would like some ideas for quick and easy projects, feel free to come and join me. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you again next Monday at 4 o'clock Australian Eastern Time. Um, but have a great week, everyone. Stay safe. And um, until next time, happy crafting. Bye.